I was born in Haganou in Alsace, around 30 kilometers to the north of Strasbourg, a town with approximately 35,000 inhabitants. When I was young, my main hobby was gymnastics. I started gymnastics very young because my father was a coach. He taught at the Oberhofen Gymnastics Club. Oberhofen is a small village, but the club is at a very high level. He's still there, actually. From the age of about two or three, I started going to the club with my dad. So, because I was often with him anyway, I started at the gymnastics school. All my mates from the village also went to gymnastics classes. It was the main sport in the village. My passion for cars and speed came about quite naturally. It came of its own accord. It started with bikes. I really loved skidding on bikes when I was a kid. Then it moved on to scooters, where I was always having to race with my mates and show them that I was the one with the best scooter skills. Then I had my first cars. It was the same principle. I soon realized that I was more gifted than most of my friends, and I got an incredible feeling from it. Where I come from, it wasn't even possible to ever imagine I could become a professional driver, world champion, etc. It's not something you plan. I started out in motorsports at the age of 22 with my very first rallies. I never had enough money to buy my own cart for go-karting. So I took part in an event called Youth Rally. For me, at that time, this was my only way in if I ever wanted to turn pro. This event is held in locations throughout France. Back then, the selections were made by the Federation and Peugeot. You joined by paying a 15 euro subscription fee, and then the best drivers from each region were selected to go to the nationals. The two winners in the national final won a rally season pass. In my first year, I came ahead of 15,000 other participants. But for various reasons, I ended up not being selected. I entered the event the following year, where I dominated the regional selections and the national final, but was pulled up for a fault in the last heat. But following that competition, Dominique Hines contacted me, set up a meeting and offered to help me start out in rallying. He bought a 106 Group N with his partner and their association. This allowed me to make my competition debut. My first race was a regional competition in Alsace with this car and Dominic Hines was my co-driver. He explained how rally driving worked because I didn't know very much about it. First ever time and we won our category in that first race. It flew by, but I still remember it to this day. It was a long time ago, back in 1997, but I have memories of that race I'll never forget. I met Danielle in 1997, when I was driving a 106 in France. He was co-driving for another driver in the same formula, so that's how we met. And then his driver retired at the end of that season, and my co-driver was scared and wanted to stop too. We got on well. We already knew each other. We'd had a night out after a rally in Sevin, and so we said, well, why not? It might be nice to work together. We got on, we had a good time, and that's how it happened, just having a drink one night. In 1998, I participated in a competition called the Saxo Kit Car Trophy, which is, without a doubt, one of the highest standard competitions in France. Real racing cars enter. A kit car is already a high-performance vehicle, so this is where the driver makes all the difference. It was here that I managed to get spotted because I was neck and neck with experienced Formula racing drivers, Citroën drivers, most of whom were older than me. To be the youngest driver there, competing alongside them, often in the lead, for me, it was a major moment in my career. The people who were supporting me had invested a lot and one day I came off the road. The car was insured, it was repaired, etc. Before the next race, we did a little test run, and I bust up the car again, but it wasn't insured for test runs. 
There was a lot of damage, a lot of money to be invested for repairs. We didn't have the money. I didn't have it. And those supporting me didn't either. For me, it was the end of my career. I thought that it would all stop there. We couldn't enter the following races. But then we got a sponsor who helped get the vehicle back up to scratch. I won the last few races. There were cash prizes for positions, and that's how we got back on track. But it was a really difficult time. I was a young French driver, climbing up in the rallying world. I'd started to dream big, and then it all came to a sudden end. It was a touch and go moment. 1999 was the year it all came together. I dominated the championship. In fact, I won it, so I have really fond memories of that time. It was also at this point that Citroën started to take note that I was there, that I was an up-and-coming young driver who no doubt had some potential. It was from here on that Citroën started to become more and more interested in me.